Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I have been on here. A lot has been going on in my life at the moment. Um, so I just kind of fell off the face of the earth and I never even updated anybody about on Instagram about the last hair color I did and how it faded, how it looked. And I did not hate the way that it looked. It was just very red. <laughs> Every time it washed out, it was just, my red just kept popping through and popping through and it was driving me crazy. And so I decided to try this this morning. And this is the Schwartz Prof Simply Color in Intense Espresso. I originally wanted to do the Keratin Color Espresso, which was a shade darker than the cappuccino that I previously did. And they didn't have it in stock. They didn't have it in the store. And when I went to buy it on walmart.com, they wanted $20 a box for it. And it's not even worth that much. So I got it on Amazon and I haven't done it yet because I bought this one instead. So I bought the Intense, which with hair color, Intense means kind of like ash. So it's it neutralizes a lot of the red. So that is why I went with this. It was the same level as the cappuccino. So in my mind, I was thinking, okay, it's not going to be super dark. But after I did it, my hair literally looks black. I mean, I'm glad I'm sitting in front of my window and you could definitely tell it's not black. In my vanity, it looks black. And in different angles, it looks black but it's not. It is not as dark as black. It is a nice dark brown and that's where I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay dark brown for as long as I can. We'll see because I'm kind of getting frustrated at the fact that my roots do not match my hair and that drives me insane because the whole point of doing your hair is to match and I understand that like I'm putting hair color on top of old hair color and my new hair or my roots, my new roots have nothing and they're a lot lighter. So they're going to take to it lighter, but it just drives me nuts that like it just doesn't, it doesn't look bad from a distance. When the light hits it and I see different angles, you can see the difference. Like I could do, you can see the difference right here. And I absolutely hate that when your roots are lighter and then you can see from like where your hair start, like your new growth started and your old hair color like ended, I guess. So it's like right here all the way down and it's like right up that whole inch is a different color. But you can't tell from a distance, but you can tell when the light hits it. And, like, nobody talks about that. Like, nobody talks about that stuff. And then you wonder why you go to a hair salon and they do your roots darker and they call them shadow roots. But if you're doing dark brown, it should just all be dark brown. Because if I decide to do a shadow root, I'm basically going black. I don't want to go black. I want to be dark brown and I don't want to have to do dark, like, I don't want to have to do black roots to achieve it to all, you know what I'm saying? Because no matter what, I'm going to constantly have to do black roots. And then that gets me nowhere because I'm dark brown. It just <clears throat> stuff that nobody talks about. And it's so frustrating because with black hair, when it was black, it's so easy. You could go to the store and if your hair color that you specifically use is out, you could pick any black and it'll cover and you will never have heart roots with black ever. It's going to match your previous black because it's black. So it's very frustrating. So I bought the next shade down, which is espresso from the keratin color from Schwarzkopf and it's, I'm hoping it'll be like, cause it's darker. It's a shade darker. So it'll be a nice darker brown. And I'm hoping that it will blend root to tip. 
we'll see. But it's very frustrating. So for right, for right now, I'm staying in the dark family, the dark brown family. This is the one thing that I absolutely did not want to have to do where I am was started off at a lighter color and then constantly like getting darker and darker and darker to the point where I end up black. But I just want to stay dark brown for a while. We'll see how long that works. So anyways, this is a beautiful color. It definitely toned down the red a lot. Like it's the red basically, I mean, there's probably still some red in there, but I have not seen a trace of red since I colored it. Thank the good Lord, because I am sick of washing my hair. And every time I go and do my hair and blow dry it, it just looks so red. And it's so difficult when you're constantly trying to find like that perfect chocolate brown. I get it. When I went into doing this, I knew my hair pulls a lot of red. Did I know that trying to find a color to, <laughs> to give you that perfect chocolate brown and let the red be in there? Did I know that it was going to like intensify my red? No, I did not know my red was going to take its own, like, I don't know, its own form. And just like every single color I did, it was just like, you can't cover me. I'm here to stay. You want chocolate brown? You're going to get like a chocolate cherry. And that's not what I wanted. I don't want red. Red is so high maintenance. I didn't want to deal with that. I just wanted a nice chocolate brown to, and I wanted to utilize the red that I had in my hair already. And it was just not working. So this color definitely toned down all that red and I'm really liking it. Now, in cert, like I said, certain angles and areas, it looks black. It's not. It's dark brown. It's beautiful. I'm really liking it. I really hope the other um, one that I do when I have to do my roots matches. And it looks really good, I hope. So, anyways, I found something cool. And I didn't even realize I could do this until I looked it up. So I bought, when I bought a bunch of like black hair colors, this was sitting here in my shelf, in my like cupboard. And I bought this to try and I never did it because I jumped on the, I want to change my hair to brown bandwagon. And I never used this. I didn't know I could be using this the whole time in other brands of hair color. So it is called Bond Bar. So I bought this kit. It's number one and number two, and I bought the black hair color. So if I decide to go back to black, I will be trying that with this. So this fancy dude is number one. And you take one squirt of this per color. So like I use two boxes, so I do two squirts. Of this and you add it to your hair color this is kind of like what a stylist would use at a salon for olaplex something that us people cannot touch only a stylist could touch was olaplex number one and they add it to any chemical process this i wanted to know for so long when i bought it and i went brown i was like okay can this be, is this just formulated just for bond bar or can it be used for anything? Well, on here, it says it helps reduce damage during bleach and color treatments. Well, at the time they never came out with bleach. They only had like a color section. They never, they just recently came out with bleach and lighteners. So I was like, I wonder if I can use this in other chemical processes, like any, I used it in this. So this is kind of like the cheap version of Olaplex, but meant for like us non-stylists. And then this is number two and it's recovery. So this, they repair protect and hydrate. So this is basically like Olaplex's number one. And then you 
do your number three or number two. No. Do they have a number two? I don't know if they have a number two. But this is number two. So this is technically like Olplex number three that you use after you're done rinsing your hair out. You put this on, you let it sit on your hair for a little bit, and then you rinse it out, and then you go in and shampoo your hair and condition it. And I have been like, oh my God, I've been, I could have been using this the whole time. And it didn't even have to be with this brand of hair color because it says during a bleach and color treatment. It doesn't say it has to be this specific hair color. That's just like amazing. Like this is, this is amazing. So this is your bonding booster. You only do two squirts, depending on how much hair color you have. It doesn't matter about the ounces. You just do one full pump for each. So like I, like I said, I used two bottles. I used two boxes of this. And so I did two pumps, two full pumps into the hair color. And then I washed out my hair color or rinsed it out. And then I went in with this, let it sit. I cleaned out my, like my hair clips in the tub. And then once I was done cleaning all those, I rinsed it out and then washed my hair. And then I did a hair mask right after. So this is super cool because it basically acts just like Olaplex, just a lot cheaper. And we can heal our hair in any chemical process that we do, which I thought was cool. And I was wondering about this for the longest time. And then just realized when I saw Sally's posting that they just came out with Bond Bar bleach treatment or bleach and lightener. And I was just like going in to Bond Bar on itself, looking up the description because they tell you how you can use it. And it says in any bleach or chemical process. So that just gives it away that it's, it can be used in any bleach or color treatment. It doesn't have to be that specific Bond Bar brand. You can use it in anything. Like they never, they just came out with bleach. They just came out with lightener. So that's awesome that this is good to help protect your hair and we can use it in anything. So I just wanted to tell you guys, cause I just did it to this morning and I just figured this out and I was like, I'm going to try it. That's not going to hurt your hair if you do it in a different, in a different chemical process. So like, why not just give it a try and why not do it on drugstore or any other brand of hair color that you have? So anyways, I will show you this hair color in a different angle. Oh, I do kind of see some, some red. Like you see my roots, you see that? Like that's what I don't like. Cause now that's all I see in my mind is I have hot roots and I don't like it. And I feel like, like this chunk of hair just doesn't match the rest of my hair. But I don't know. I just feel like it's such a process to, to do. Who would have thought just to have dark brown hair and would be so hard to achieve. But it is because it's just, it's just difficult. And I never would have thought it would be. But it, this definitely neutralized a lot of my red. Because I don't see the reds at all. I don't know why, like, this whole chunk looks like it's a lot darker than the rest of my hair. <laughs> Maybe it's just the angle of... My hair, I don't know. Just the way I'm angling it, just the way the light's hitting it. But it's definitely a lot, a lot better. Um, I like the fact that it neutralized a lot of the red. I don't see the red. I just see a nice dark brown. 
I really don't like my roots. <laughs> I really don't like that. I don't like, because that's all I'm going to stare at is like, ew, look at that. Because it just, it doesn't match the rest of my hair. But anyways, this is what the hair color looks like. And um, I just thought I'd give you guys like a little update on it and show you guys what it looks like. I know it's different than black and um, this is just, I'm in my brown hair phase and I'm pretty sure that if I keep getting pissed off at my roots, I'm going to be back to black because it's just, it's so frustrating. And if I do go black, I don't know if it's going to be like a soft black where it's like close to dark brown. I don't know. I... Unless there's like a deepest, darkest brown. They do. They have that at Sally's. That was what I originally did. I might end up going back to that. <laughs> and just do that. Because I just kind of feel like my hair is, my roots especially, are just driving me nuts. They're just, I want everything to match. And... That's just how I am. I just want my roots to match everything else. Is that too much to ask? Is that too hard to ask? It's just, I don't know. But this is the hair color. It's a nice dark brown. I'm liking it. I'm not liking the roots, but you know, it is what it is. I don't know if you can see Betty White's up there, but it really, this hair color really did not cover my roots as well as like all time or the keratin color. It just, I don't know. It says a hundred percent gray coverage, but it did not cover all of them. Maybe that one's just super, super resilient, but back here, it looks good back here. It looks it looks dark. It looks like a beautiful dark brown. And you can't see my roots or anything for that matter. It just looks good. You just... I do kind of feel like my... Or I'm bald right there. I don't know. I just kind of feel like my roots just look so much lighter. And in this light, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. But this is it. This is the result. I I love Schwartz Kaproff. So, like, I will be sticking with their color. I hope and pray that the Espresso Brown, like, matches like root to the rest of the color i really hope it does because it's a darker color and if not then i don't know i may be going back to black but i feel like i i feel like i got the darkness that i want it didn't get that dark on my roots but i'm hoping because it's like the next shade darker that it just blends in beautifully but um We'll see. You can only hope. And like I said, <laughs> I don't know how much darker I could get. And we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I was going to say, like, if you have any suggestions for, like, a color you want me to try, let me know. But I'm just going to try what I got going on right now. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to stay hopefully dark brown for as long as I can. And hopefully I can find a happy medium where my roots and the rest of my hair color match beautifully. Hopefully that works. Hopefully we can find something. But this is where we're at. We're slowly getting darker and darker and slowly getting closer to black. But we're not there yet. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully I feel well enough to just do updates. 
and let you know what this hair color looks like when it fades because I did not do a very good job updating on the last hair color. So fingers crossed, I, <laughs> I can keep up with that. Um, in the meantime, have a good day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.